so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model this kind of ancient metal shot in the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys we are going to make exactly this and this is the final model basically so first one i'm just going to delete everything pressing the a and then i'm just going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing exactly okay on the right hand side so first of all i'm just going to add one cylinder pressing the shift a something like that and then i'm just going to my front view and going to scale this cylinder something like that and that must uh, scale is fine to me and after scaling i'm just going to apply this scale pressing the control a and then i'm just going to my edit mode of this uh, cylinder and going to add some edge loop so right now i'm just going to add some uh, i think eight edge loop is look fine to me and then i'm just going to start giving a shape of these uh, vertices i'm just going to select this vertices first of all and going to scale it something like that yeah and that's look fine to me i'm just going to quick this process by the way so now here you can see now we have a perfect shape here so now i'm just going to again my edit mode of the cylinder and then i'm just going to select my top part of the cylinder pressing this three and then i'm just going to my front view and going to extrude it then i will just press the z for the location yeah something like that and then i'm just going to extrude it and same thing i will do repeat it and going to scale it something like that and after that i'm just going to press the i for the insert and that's look great to me here you can see okay and then i'm just going to make the uh, metal part of this bottom side so i'm just going to edit mode of this cylinder again and going to extrude it pressing the e then i'm just going to scale it one more time then i'm just going to extrude then i'm just going to press the z for the axis yeah and then i'm just going to extrude it and then i'm just going to scale it and do one more time same thing something like that and that's look fine to me after that i'm just going to add one subdivision surface modifier adding the more smooth but before adding the subdivision surface modifier i'm just going to uh, adding some supporting as loop into these parts because if i'm not going to add the supporting loop to so these uh, part will be going to um, mix with this uh, subdivision surface modifier so i'm just going to select all four parts then i'm just going to press in the control b and this is the shortcut of the bevel then i'm just going to add one extra as loop and here you can see now we have uh, some good supporting loop so now if i will just add the subdivision surface modifier from here so here you can see that will look like this and for this we'll just go to the press the i and then i'm just going to press the i again yeah so that will look great to me and after that we can just increase the viewport level so that look fine to me okay so after complete this i'm just going to again my uh, edit mode of this uh, cylinder okay and then i'm just going to select some faces from here i'm just going to select these uh, faces these faces these faces and these faces and then and then i'm just going to press the shift d for the duplicate and then i'm just going to press the p for the separate so now here you can see now we have a separate mesh here okay so first of all i'm just going to do a uh, set origin as a geometry okay and after that i'm just going to my edit mode of this part and going to select my transparency and from here i'm just going to select all these faces then i will just press the i for the insert something like that and then i will just select the other faces and i will just do shift r for the repeat this command yeah something like that okay and after that i'm just going to select these middle faces and uh, after that i'm just going to delete these faces pressing the delete and faces and then i'm just going to select the all faces again and from here i'm just going to set the uh, origin as an individual origin then i'm just going to pressing the i so it will automatically invert these things something like that and then i'm just going to press the control i for the inverse deselection and then i'm just going to set this origin as a median point first of all and then i'm just going to uh, extrude pressing the alt e extrude along the normals and something like that yeah so now we have uh, that kind of shape here and that's look great to me here you can see okay and after that i'm just going to add the uh, cone into our scene i'm just going to add the cone pressing the shift a and then i'm just going to change as a view and after that i'm just going to scale this uh, second radius 
basically yeah something like that i'm going to decrease the depth as well yeah that's look fine to me and after that i'm just going to keep it here okay and i think we should uh, scale little more something like that and after that you have to just apply the scale first of all and i'm just going to keep it here after that i'm just going to set this uh, cone origin uh, to the uh, 3d cursor so for that i'm just going to press the right click and here you will see the set origin as a 3d cursor so it will automatically move this uh, origin point to the 3d cursor so now if i'm just going to rotate it so it, it's going to rotate along this 3d cursor and that look fine to me okay so then i'm just going to press the shift d but before doing i'm just going to apply the shade smooth first of all and then i'm just going to do auto smooth as well so we don't need to repeat this process to other duplicates as well so then i'm just going to press the shift d and then i'm just going to rotate it into a z axis something like that and after that i'm just going to repeat this command pressing the shift r something like that so now we have a perfect cone here i'm just going to select these cones and then i'm just going to press in the ctrl j for the join mess and then i'm just going to my front view and from here i'm just going to duplicate this pressing the shift d and then i'm just going to move it here and same thing we'll do with other part as well i'm just going to do shift d and i'm just going to move it here so here you can see guys our model is look completely done and that's look great to me and after completing your model you can just apply the texture into your model and when you apply the texture it will look like this here you can see and that's look fine to me so that's how you can create guys uh, that kind of gaming asset okay that is very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you so here you can see that's look fine to me by the way okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys